For over three decades and over 1,500 broadcasts, the Emmy Award-winning program Firing Line, hosted by William F. Buckley Jr., was broadcast into millions of American homes every week on public television. Beloved, controversial, hugely influential, and conceived as a simple exchange of opinions. Buckley described Firing Line as the only program on the air that gives to presidents and poets a full hour in which to disclose themselves. Uh, the topic tonight is the hippies, an understanding of whom we must, I guess, acquire or die painfully. Professor Milton Friedman is considered by some people the leading economist in the entire world. Uh, that in itself is eye-catching, although, come to think of it, somebody has to be the leading economist in the entire world. <clears throat> I think most of the poor people are perfectly responsible, respectable people who, given half a chance, don't want to be on welfare any more than you or I want to be. Uh, see, you're a wise man and you make a man think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I often think when you're going for consensus, so often it means that those who believe as I believe tend to give in to the left wing and you steadily move further and further left. Balancing the budget is a little bit like protecting your virtue. You just have to learn to say no. The Democratic politicians, the so-called liberal politicians, have been more exciting and more interesting. Now, part of the reason for that is that they can be less responsible. Mm -hmm. Because whenever they have a problem, they say, well, the government will do something. I think that many more people are convinced, not by actions of power, but by the uh, uh, precepts of, of people they listen to, uh, and by, by some sort of an internal All search right, to do the right let's, thing. Let's talk about it for a moment. Ever since the Civil War, and before that, I'm not even going to take the period of slavery in, this is a uh, Christian Western civiliz civilized nation. They've constantly been uh, talking about the fact that the mystical body of Christ knows no color line. They go to church and they hear all this, in nice segregated churches. And uh, on a rational basis, all the anthropologists have come up with their various findings, cutting across through this uh, color barrier, etc. Do you think that uh, there would have been any change as far as civil rights legislation, as far as uh, many of the breakthroughs that have occurred? Of with course. Oh, well, come on. Of I don't course. know what fairyland you're living in. If you call me America, a that's my fairyland, uh, the country you don't know. Senator Goldwater is both a Republican and a conservative, a terms which he has not found, or at least not yet found, to be mutually exclusive. And I might say, Bill, this is my chief worry as a conservative, that we have put so much power in the office of the presidency that someday the wrong man could come along. And I wouldn't be so concerned about whether he could use these powers to perpetuate himself in office, but how he would use these powers to destroy people that disagreed with him, to uh, pile up uh, voters where voters don't usually pile up. I think Johnson uh, is fully aware of the powers that he has, and he certainly has used them and will use them. Adam, in the most ungallant fashion, uh, tries to blame the whole thing on Eve. The woman tempted me. I, oh, he, skulk, he streaks for the bushes, gets himself in the bushes, hides from God, and then when God hauls him forth, blames it on the woman. Now, there's your typical male chauvinist right from the beginning. I understand the, 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 the Christian tradition to be one that says merely because you have an appetite is not an excuse for uh, giving in to it. And I understand the Playboy philosophy to, say, to be saying it is uh, to lead to a kind of a neurotic repression to ask somebody to give it. Incidentally, Freud said something. that. Yeah. Mm. Freud said that. Well, no, he didn't say quite exactly that. Well, I see, I see one of the things in, I think is very in important. In the first place, he was a very orthodox monogamist. All right, one of the, well, uh, I think that in, we're in more apt place, to get... What, what Freud said was, understand what it is that you're doing to yourself. We are more apt but, to uh, get... But he was not a latitudinarian as regards personal uh, behavior. We are no. more apt to get true monogamy, happy monogamy, uh, something other than the, than the uh, sequential polygamy that we really have in society today, if, uh, I think <coughs> if we take a more uh, realistic... If I may uh, say so, how in the hell do you know? How do you know? But since the Second World War, we became the world's major imperialist power. And Vietnam is simply one piece of an attempt to construct a very large integrated world system yeah. of which Greece was another piece. Yeah, we became an imperial power, Mr. Chomsky, 
in this sense, in the sense that we inherited primary responsibility for our a, any chain of action that might involve us in a third world war no, I don't and, that's and something that might involve the entire world in Holocaust. And no, under I the circumstances, uh, well, I know you don't believe it, but, but uh, in fact, I think that our, it might our, be refreshing to listen to this point of view, yeah. which is that uh, there are people who do believe oh, sure. that, that America unhappily, and certainly not desiring it, inherited the responsibility for trying to abort international Holocaust. Uh, and has from time to time done so by such ventures as the Truman Doctrine, martial aid, and things like that. I think that people under the age of 30 uh, come from a different, entirely different way of life. I think that uh, they're mutants. Well, they're younger, yeah. No, they've been brought up in a world bill which is entirely different from the one that uh, you and I knew. It's already uh, gone beyond my comprehension. Uh, the uh, kids today are into electronics. They're into experiments in consciousness. They're into um, a, um, a level of awareness which uh, I can dimly grasp, but uh, can only, uh, as it passes me by, take off my hat and say, uh, Godspeed to. Yeah, well, I say Godspeed to them, too, without necessarily handing them pot in the same gesture. If we could just adopt a little convention to have to recognize that ground wars by now and air wars, which which are short of nuclear wars, are fought for image, we could buy a tract of land on the Amazon. Why do you call it image? Uh, for instance, when Israel tries to rebuff the uh, Arabs, do you call it image oh, that, that they design? That was a different war. That was an altogether different war. <laughs> are we going to talk about war wars? All, all, wars same? all wars are different, except those that you say are the same. No, no, no. I don't. Uh, I uh, well, I'm I'm perfectly. In the first place, uh, you start out uh, by saying all wars nowadays are fought for image, except nuclear wars. So I brought up the Israeli war. Now you say, except it. Uh, are you going to wrench everything as inapplicable to your general I said all our wars. All right, I, I was imprecise. I'll give you that. If Lloyds of London had been asked to, to give odds uh, that I would be disagreeing with Ronald Reagan on a matter of public policy, <laughs> I doubt they could have uh, flogged a quotation out of their swinging us betting man because judging from Governor Reagan's impeccable record, the statisticians would have reasoned that it was inconceivable that he should make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but of course it happens to everyone. I fully expect that someday I'll be wrong about something. <laughs> well, Bill, my, my first question is, why haven't you already rushed across the room here to tell me that you've seen the light? <laughs> Are you saying the communist invented patriotism in Panama? No, no. Yes, well, you, pl you really tried to say that. No. <laughs> no, Bill, I, I really didn't. Would you yourself consider uh, what you had re previously attributed to the market and which I now attribute to legislation uh, and your uh, handling of that uh, an especially talented evasion? No, <clears throat> but I would classify your defenselessness as obvious. 